Red Strike Presents, This Feeling TV is all about brand new bands. Anteros are one of the bands we have fallen in love with. Here they are doing an acoustic session for us backstage. A fiery road to lethal You'll catch a uh, Probably this morning. <laughs> what did you tell you? Tell her that I arrived in London safely. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing really um, I don't talk to my mum on the phone that much. Oh. She sometimes rings me on um No, I ring her on her lunch break at work, so probably a week ago. Never. Uh, my mum could never work FaceTime. <laughs> it would never work. The last time I called her was just yesterday, telling her where I was. That's, that's all I'm ever doing, just telling her where yeah. I am. My mum's discovered Instagram stories. Oh. <laughs> I get replies to everything like, where is this? Or what are you doing here? Or this is lovely. Um, I think with our videos, we've all, we never really know what we're doing. Um, and I think we, it got to a point where when, when you don't have a lot of budget, it's like a lot of uh, directors recycle ideas. So you'll like the same bands will get loads of, di like loads of different. And I think it just got to a point where I, I didn't know what I was looking for, but I knew that it wasn't what we were being sent. So um, Bella Howard, who's worked with some awesome people, had started directing and she and I got together and just sat down and... I mean, I don't really know what happened. Like, suddenly we were just talking about broken mirrors everywhere and then there, there's, there's three parts to this video, so it's like a story. Um, but it was quite funny telling the guys about it. Like, yeah, there'll be mirrors and they'll be broken and then we'll be in the desert somewhere. And I mean, you didn't even know we were going to the I desert. I didn't know we were going to the desert until about a week before. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be, shall I guess for everyone? Yeah, go on. Yeah, shall, yeah, I, shall I guess? You'll probably get mine. J-House. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's pretty obvious to really, me, like the old, my old school fat fan from... Yeah, um, um, I was going to say you too, but yeah, it's not. Oh, yeah, yeah you too. There you go. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Yeah. Um, oh, Arctic Monkeys. Yeah. Queens probably. of Stone Age. Probably, probably oh, not. <clears throat> the Spice Girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, my first memories that I have of my life was singing. Do you know that song? I think it's Petula Clark, Downtown. Yes. Absolutely. Um, and my parents on the weekends would just play music really loud. And like I grew up in Spain, so it was really nice weather. And like they'd have all like the windows open. And my first memories was like singing downtown really loud at the stereo. They had like a little microphone thing. So at the end, what they my parents would do because they got so sick of it was that they just put me on headphones. So I was just like downtown. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's what I've wanted to do since before I can even remember. I think. Um, growing up, I don't think there was a lot of incentive. I, then there never really is a lot of incentive at schools for kids to pursue artistic careers. I think it's getting a lot better now, mm. but especially, I mean, in Spain as well, like there's just not that incentive. Um, and I think when I was old enough to sort of start making my own decisions, I just realised that if I didn't try, I'd always regress it. Amazing. And I've been regretting it ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Oh, Harry. I've had <laughs> every job in the world. <laughs> yeah. I've had so many part-time jobs. My worst part-time job, I was a lifeguard for a swimming pool, which was 10 metres by 5 metres. Didn't see a lot of action. <laughs> uh, I've been a kid's swim teacher. I've worked for an Iranian wedding company. You were in the police. I was yeah, in the police, was police for a few days. <laughs> Maybe don't put that, that's not very cool, is it? Name, name it, I've done it. I've only had one job, I was a roadie. I managed to get a week off of school <laughs> by training to become a, a drugs counsellor <laughs> for my secondary school. Drugs, not drugs. <laughs> um, I think, I mean, lyrically, there's never really any inspiration. I, I think, because then I, you think you fall into the risk of just plagiarising someone else's work. I think, uh, I like to read a lot of poetry. I know that sounds a bit lame, but I think it does really help with lyrics. Um, and then I think also it's just more about how you feel and about trying, like, the way you want to portray that. But lyrically, there has not really been an... It's I kind of right the from killers, experience. Sonically, the killers, <laughs> I guess, yeah. musically, the killers have always been quite a big, like, I guess the common ground, or Arcade <coughs> Fire as well. Yeah. 
the the song we had like we had a few references but that's a problem because we all come from quite different musical backgrounds and we all have quite different musical tastes it's quite funny like seeing that all come together and sort of like start recording and I, I mean we don't really have like one thing that we look at we go that's who we want to sound like I think we just all just want yeah, yeah. We, we all just sort of want to have our taste yeah. in there and just go so with it I like, like Red Hot Chili Peppers, yeah. Chad Smith, U2, Oasis. Big, like, yeah, big, big, like big show bands, yeah. really. Yeah. Um, probably Arctic Monkeys, Tame and Parlor. I'd say those two musically. Yeah. yeah. I vary a lot. I'm quite bipolar with my taste in music. I'll go from like anything from like soul and I love disco. Um, then I'm an indie. <laughs> I'm an indie kid at heart. Um, so it's everything from, like we said, like Donna Summer or even Aretha Franklin to, I don't know, anyone really. Spice like Girls. Spice Girls. <laughs> or even like Spice Girls or like I love Arcade Fire. I love The Killers. Yeah. Um, I love The Strokes. Yeah, it's like a big mix. For me, it's just like Britpop and hip hop. Anything that's got like a good beat, good Anything rhythm. Anything has got a hop. Anything has got a hop <laughs> or a hip. <laughs> Don't know the world is cause you 